Well, hey, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Got a little update for you, but also got a uh, new pair of shoes right here we need to look at, so let's get to it. First little update on my first week back running after COVID. So this was my first week. Last week was completely off. I didn't really do anything. Uh, this week I did about 25 miles, all pretty easy with the exception of one run. But so Monday was my first run after COVID and it was just about 45 minutes, pretty easy. Um, but my heart rate was certainly higher. Uh, it just was definitely a little bit higher. And then Wednesday I went out for about almost an hour, 55 minutes, did a little 10K. Again, just trying to keep the pace easy and the heart rate low, which was hard because I'm still dealing with a high heart rate. And then on Friday I did uh, two runs. Uh, so uh, we have our Sawbriar Run Club that meets at the Sawbriar Brewery. So I decided to have run two run club and that was like six and a half miles. And I did that uh, at a decent pace. I actually tried to keep that one under eight minutes and it was like a, a 7.55 average pace. Heart rate definitely higher than it used to be for that. Uh, just, you know, got to chalk it up to COVID basically. And then Run Club was just another about 30 minutes, so three and a half miles. So all in all on Friday was about 10 miles and, um, you know, it felt okay. Then Saturday was just a super easy go out for like 35, 40 minutes. Uh, I did about four miles and try to keep that real easy. Again, just, I'm just, that's the reoccurring theme is my heart rate is higher right now. And I'm still, I'm having a little bit of just very uh, minor like chest tightness when I'm running too. So it's, it's definitely related to the COVID and my legs just feel super tired. I don't know if that's because of the lack of oxygen, maybe, you know, for the chest tightness, it's maybe I'm not breathing as well. Uh, but my legs just feel like I ran like a 60 mile week, even though it was 25 miles. So Definitely still getting over COVID, trying to keep it easy. I've got another week next week of easy runs and I really hope I start to see some good improvement because I, I really, I need to be getting in some big week miles, like 60, 70 mile weeks uh, coming up for my race. So I don't want to push it, but I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, let's take a look at some shoes. So these have been very highly requested. Pretty much any trail review that I have done this year so far, people have asked me, oh, how does that compare to this shoe right here, uh, which I hadn't had. So I reached out to Saucony, told them that I've been getting a ton of requests to review the Saucony Exodus Ultra, and that's what these are. So they sent those, uh, and it is a pretty awesome colorway. I really like this, uh, what do they call this anyway? It's called the Cool Mint Rock Menth, Menthol maybe, or I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's a cool looking color, kind of a tealish aqua color. Uh, so these are majorly, majorly redesigned from the Exodus 11, which you can take a look at top right corner, my full review of those shoes. But these are like a lot lighter. Uh, the lug depth has been changed. The design of the lugs, the upper is completely new. I'll get into all the stats when I do a full review. I'm hoping to take these out Monday for the first run. Monday being Labor Day, I'm off from work. So I'm going to go try to do nothing crazy, but maybe like around an hour, maybe an hour and a half tops uh, on the trails. And I'll take these out uh, and just see what they're like. But I'm excited because these on paper are very similar to the Pulsar Trail, which, you know, if you know, if you follow my channel, you know, that's like my favorite trail shoe maybe ever, uh, but certainly of 2022. I love that shoe. And this on paper is very comparable, like maybe even better in a couple categories, but it's going to remain to see how does it fit? What does it feel? Because that's what I love about the Pulsar Trails. They just it's just such a great fit for my foot. So these, we will see how they compare. And I'll be sure to give you all my thoughts and do a full review after about 40, 50 miles on these, which hopefully will not take me long to get there, pending COVID. But yeah, I'm excited. These have been, uh, I've been wanting to test these for a while and I'm glad to get the opportunity to do it. So thank you, Saucony, for sending them. I'm always gonna tell the truth. You know, they're not gonna influence these videos and tell me what to say. So be sure to stay tuned for that full review, probably. Uh, in a few weeks, but definitely some first run footage coming up soon. So the day you're watching this Monday is Labor Day. Hope you all have a great safe Labor Day. Hope you're not working today, but if you are, thank you. 
Uh, but yeah, go out, you know, enjoy the day, uh, maybe go for a trail run, a hike, if you have good weather, cookout, barbecue, whatever, but have a good safe time. Well, that's gonna do it. Just wanted to uh, open up these bad boys here because I am super excited. The Saucony Exodus Ultra, I give you a little update on how my recovery after COVID is going. So yeah, stay tuned. If you haven't seen it already, why don't you go ahead and take a look at the Saucony Exodus 11 review. That way you can know, uh, you know how much different these are when, uh, when I get that review done. Uh, it's on your screen, take a look at that. And then on this side, I'll put a playlist of some race videos to check out. So thank you for watching, I appreciate you all. Hope you have a good Labor Day and I'll talk to you on the next one.